Hello submarine friends. I had a busy day today. I built the mechanism that releases the chassis from the submarine. You can see it's hanging from the submarine right now. I could just turn a handle inside and it falls off. So I'm going to show you how I built it. So I've located where I have to drill the hole for the drop weight mechanism that I made. I got the hole drilled. So this is the modified hydraulic cylinder which I machined and converted into a rotating penetrator. So it has to be oriented this way so that I can fill it with oil by just rolling the sub on its side. It's easier than standing it on its end. And I'm just going to do a tack weld right now because I want to get it nice and plumb with the chassis and that's hard to do in this position. So with one tack I can still move it around. I've got it all tacked into place but I'm going to preheat it because this type of steel, this is pressure vessel steel, it has to be preheated to at least 150 degrees. If I overheat it, I just let it cool a bit. It also welds nicer when it's hot. So she's welded in. So this right here is the guts of the penetrator. It used to be a hydraulic cylinder. Now once it's inside the cylinder, which is already welded into the hull, this cap goes on like this. And this nut goes on. And that's what stops it from dropping out. And that's what holds the weight is that shoulder. And then there's a quarter inch pin that goes through an expanding uh, compression pin. And then this bottom is threaded. I machined it and threaded it. And this is what connects to the sub. So it sits like this. That's bolt threaded all the way in. Then when you rotate the shaft, it unthreads. When it's all the way unthreaded, the chassis falls off. Simple. Okay, so now we're going to put the guts in. So I'm just going to put this bolt in here so I can hit it with a hammer. I already oiled the seals. I already wiped this all out. Okay, snap ring is in, just going to seat it, perfect. So now I'm going to fill it with oil. Throw the cap on. And that's it. Now, I just put the nut on the other end in the washer, and then I can fabricate the piece this attaches to. Here it is all done. What I didn't show you guys was that I put this disc in here. So I welded that to the shaft, and that's to prevent it from, from the shaft going up inside the sub when it's released. So, all we do is we install this bolt, which is a homemade bolt, I have to make a new one. Should be stainless steel anyways. So this is just temporary so I can keep on building. So we just tighten it to there. This locks it in place. So that's it. Easy peasy. So if this build process is of any interest, keep watching. I'm going to document the entire process from start to finish. So thanks and ciao.